Good evening, Cancer, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly thank you for both your subscriptions as well as your viewership. Okay, so Cancer, we're going to do something a bit differently here. Okay, we're going to discuss a very important fertility topic here. Okay. You've been with this person for some time now, and you've been contemplating having a family here. So what I like to do is to just to see what the cards would have to say regarding your chances, regarding how your partner feels, regarding how you truly feel about the changes that a baby would bring, okay? And we're going to look at whether it's the right time for you to, to start working towards having a family, at, or if there are issues that you might need to address as a couple first. And then we're going to move on and just look at whatever advantages or disadvantages that having a child will bring to you, okay? I've decided today, ladies and gentlemen, to use my, let's see, my Tarot for Kids deck today here to illustrate your reading. So, I'm going to go on and shuffle up and see what comes up, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Spirit, what messages would you have for me to share, like for me to share with Cancer regarding whether they are ready for the life changes that a baby will, in fact, bring? And this reading Cancer is valid until the end of this year, okay? So, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancer regarding this issue here, okay? Okay, I'm going to start off, ladies and gentlemen, by just looking at a few cards that fell to the bottom of the deck here, okay? We have the Empress, okay? Let's make sure you're getting a good look at it, all right? Then we have Judgment here. Let me straighten this out. We have judgment, okay, and then we also have the magician, okay, so we have the empress, judgment, as well as the magician card, okay, so I'm, what I'm seeing here is that particularly with empress, ladies and gentlemen, that card is all about fertility, it's all about motherhood. It's all about growth. It's all about success after concerted effort, okay, so that produces pregnancy. So this card certainly shows a favorable omen is present, you know, and, and it does show that good luck surrounds you, ladies and gentlemen. And then when you're looking at judgment here, it shows an ending or a phase or an ending, an ending of a phase that I'm getting here. Perhaps an end to, you know, a time where you have felt very critically judged that I'm getting. It shows a new direction will emerge for many of you. It shows that also if you've suffered previous health issues, things are going to improve dramatically here. And then at the end here, you have the magician, ladies and gentlemen. So this certainly shows it's, it's another omen here of success. And it shows that a, either a medical specialist or a doctor might intervene in your situation I'm getting here. Okay. Now let's move on to see how your partner or your lover really feels about this issue here. Okay. Wow. We have the bully. Okay. So this certainly is similar to the devil. Well, it, it is representative of the devil and the tarot here. But in this deck, it's called the bully. So I feel that he or she feels a bit bullied, ladies and gentlemen, by it all. He or she feels trapped and feel burdened. And keep in mind that the energies of this card, these cards can go vice versa. It could be how you're feeling or how you're both feeling. Okay, but this is more so geared to how that your partner is feeling. You feel that he or she is kind of thinking all sorts. I'm getting all sorts of you know, negative things that can happen and kind of getting, and they might have even discussed this with you, okay? 
So you have to ask yourself, ladies and gentlemen, are you rushing this person into it? Like when you're feeling that you, you know, you're having these, these spark points or, you know, different peaks or whatever, you like forcing this person to have sex with you and all of this stuff. This card is all about being a bit manipulative. Okay. And I feel that this partner feels that he or she has no other choice but to kind of go along with the program here for fear. I'm getting that he or she will lose your help in some way because I'm feeling a very codependent type situation where drugs might even be involved with some of you here. So you might want to think this through. Okay. I feel that this is a very toxic situation that many of you are kind of uh, in here and, it, and it's worthy of some type of discussion here. If you're not really feeling this way, because this is exactly what how your lover is feeling. But let's look at how you're really feel, feeling here. Wow, yours really isn't any better here. You have the moon. All right, so this shows that many of you are, in fact, riddled with doubt. You might even feel betrayed in some sense and very apprehensive about the whole ordeal, I feel. I also feel that, you know, some of you females, I'm getting... Um, it looks like that you might even have been kind of having a lot of guy not um, gynecological um, problems. I'm here. I'm feeling gynecological problems. I'm getting that might resurface. Okay, some of you even feel a bit star-crossed. I'm getting in matters of the heart. So it's something. It looks like you guys need to really think this through if you have been contemplating. Having a family because I don't think it's gonna be with the person, with your the person with whom you are um, dealing with at this time. Okay, so let's look at is this the right time, or do you still have things to do as a couple? We have the sun, and immediately, ladies and gentlemen, at first glance, I would say yes with this card, but this card is kind of a little deceptive here. It's still. Kind of shows a lot of uncertainty and doubt, almost just as if, just like this moon card here. So I wanted to clarify it here, and then I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've selected here the Hermit. All right, so that is a, a very neutral card too. So I think that you need to first make a decision about this person, as well as others here, because I'm feeling, I'm seeing that it's going to be a lot of per people coming into your life here. Um, cancer. So you you certainly have options available, but this person, I don't think this he or she is the right one for this. I'm kind of feeling. I feel that you need to kind of take some time out to really think things through and you, you have to get rid of this dream or fantasy world that you've created in your own mind here. Your expectations appear to be very unrealistic. And self-love and self-acceptance seem to be key here that I'm getting. OK, so let's look at whether the advantages outweighs the disadvantages. Should you, you know, consider establishing a family? It doesn't have to be right now or this year, but will it outweigh? Or will the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? We have the moon here, the moon queen, actually. So this is the high priestess. So, of course, this card is telling you to trust your intuition. But I feel that a brief time away from this partner is key here, is of paramount importance here because I feel that you're having a lot of problems and a lot of issues. So why bring a baby into this situation? It's only going to make matters worse for you, okay, that I'm getting. Because also you have to understand too that this moon queen or the high priestess, however you want to refer to her, she brings about a lot of hidden secrets. Secrets yet to be revealed. So your lover may be harboring a secret that you have yet to um, discover, which I'm sure a lot of you may already know. It's probably more than likely some type of sneakiness or infidelity that's going on. And you really need to trust your intuition, Cancer. Also keep in mind that this card says, especially for some of you ladies out there, Many of you need to be true to yourself because you might not even want to have a child here because this card also represents a virgin, an individual who really doesn't like men in the first place. So celebrate your womanhood if that's the direction that you want to take. All right. So this is what I have in terms of your fertility reading. So I'm going to leave you with a final thought. 
from my cards, uh, from my postcard here, final thought that Spirit would like you to you know, focus on during this time period in question. And again, this reading is valid from now until the end of the year. So it looks like you're going to have to really make a crucial decision here that I'm getting. It's very important. Also, trust your intuition. So, Spirit, what final message would you like me to share with Cancer in regards to this issue? Okay, let's go on and select this postcard here. And I'm going to read it as it is written, okay? Dearest you, over here, there is no mystery for us to unrival. As we know intimately how connected we all are how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension, dimension you live in. That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the why, we do. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that, un that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life mysteries and beautiful tapestry and glorious technicolor. Loving you so much, as always. Okay? So, Cancer, this is the message that I have for you. I certainly hope that it offers food for thought. Please take a few moments to tap that subscription button. And following this reading, Cancer, I will also be giving you your actual fertility reading, okay, to just, just let you see what your chances might be. Should you do decide to conceive or um, to have a child, okay? If you like a more personal reading, then definitely contact me at will.brown at wat consulting inc.net, all right? Enjoy your evening. Thanks a lot.